Firefighters continue to work diligently and they plan to be here until Friday to make sure there aren't any more fire threats. Los bomberos continúan trabajando arduamente para asegurarse que no hay más amenazas de fuego. Here in Pasadena, the no smoking law will go into effect the beginning of next month. Aquí en la ciudad de Pasadena, la ley se implementará el próximo mes. Burn houses, smoky hills, and curious bystanders are what's left behind by the Cessna fires. After an entire day of hard work, firefighters are still trying to put out any signs of smoke that may put them at risk of yet another fire. Choppers are constantly patrolling the areas that are still considered in danger. We were out there with our garden hose and actually with the firefighters fighting them. That's this what. Porter Ranch resident wasn't going to let the fire burn down his house. So it was, it was very intense. Sadly, not everyone was as lucky. Some people will come back and find their homes completely taken down by the fire. And this fire was not arson. Power lines down into some dry brush and, you know, that in addition to the Santa Ana winds, you know, enabled the fire to, uh, you know, move at a rapid rate of spread. The fire department helicopter will continue reloading its water tank to try and put an end to the destructive flames. Firefighters continue to work diligently and they plan to be here until Friday to make sure there aren't any more fire threats. Reporting from Porter Ranch, this is Claudia Carrasco for Valley Bee News. Smoking outside this shopping area may cost people a lot more than the price they pay for cigarettes. The city of Pasadena has passed a law that prohibits smoking in outdoor shopping and dining areas. ATMs and bus stops are also off limits to smokers. Business people in Pasadena have strong feelings about the issue. It will hurt uh, my business for the customer. We'll be uh, unhappy, okay? And but it is better for the there's the health. But. We live in probably one of the dirtiest cities in the country in terms of smog and air pollution. And if people are going to get that bent out of shape about cigarette smoke, they should probably move to Montana or, or something like that. Smoking is already prohibited in parks around the city since 2004. And people won't be able to smoke within 20 feet of building entrances. The city will hit violators with a $100 fine for the first offense. 200 for the second, and $500 for every violation after that. Even here at an art exhibition of wishing trees, where people write their aspirations, someone longs for their loved ones to stop smoking. Some of the cities that already prohibit smoking on outdoor areas include Beverly Hills, Glendale, and Burbank. Here in Pasadena, the no smoking law will go into effect the beginning of next month. Reporting for Valley View News, this is Claudia Carrasco. With a sign that showed a countdown to what supporters hope will be an introduction of an immigration reform in Congress, these people said they'll take to the streets again. Marcharemos porque sabes, sabemos, ¿verdad? tenemos conocimiento de que el camino no es fácil. Supporters continue sending the same message of three years ago, but feel more hopeful with the new administration. We need a new uh, immigration reform law or bill, so we've been pressing for that. Uh, since 2006, La, La Gran Marcha with over a million people. So we're continuing the struggle for uh, una reforma migratoria. Organizers expect massive numbers of demonstrators to come out and let their voices be heard. Nothing has ever been won from the top down. The politicians have never given us what we wanted because we asked nicely. So I think that showing people that we are ready to get out there and struggle um, as communities, as united people, uh, then we will have a positive effect and there will be comprehensive immigration reform. This press conference followed a message sent by the Obama administration announcing an immigration bill to be of priority to the president starting this May. Reporting from Los Angeles, Claudia Carrasco, Valley View News. No more and you have bragging rights for a year. One by one, hundreds of participants no climbed 1,377 stairs to the top of the second tallest building in downtown LA. This was part of an event presented by the American Lung Association to raise funds to support healthy air and healthy lungs. The participants' message was very clear. Awareness? Well, I think if you can't breathe, you can't live. And um, I think it's really important to take care of your health. I'm 66 and a half. I'm a grandmother. And if I could do it, anybody can. <laughs> the crowd was made up of groups of friends and sponsors, a few elite runners, and even entire families. 
The number of participants was double that of the first year. We attracted many elite runners to come to our event and we're very excited about the visibility that that brings because not enough people understand that lung disease really affects everybody. The excitement began at the time of the sign-ups, followed by a quick warm-up to take on the 63 floors that made up this vertical race. Go. Within 15 Go. seconds of each other, the runners entered through this door and ended at the rooftop where they were greeted by supporters and a great view. This is the second annual Climb California Greater LA. Organizers are very happy with the turnout and they do expect greater numbers throughout the year. Reporting from the Aon Center rooftop in downtown LA, Claudia Carrasco, Valley View News.